You can use your imagination. You can use your. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney, and if you're new here, hey y'all. If the quality is like poor, I do apologize. I'm filming on a different camera. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long. As you can see by the title, I'm really excited. We want to try out for the cheer team, and I'm gonna get you there. But before we hop into anything, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Because if you're not, then what are you doing? I'm gonna give you like four or five seconds to get your life together. Bet! And welcome to the Squid Family. You are now all squids. So definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok. That's where most of you know me from already. So go ahead and follow me on that. That way you can participate in polls, questionnaires that I have on my account. Make sure you share this with someone who wants to try out for cheer or maybe had a thought about trying out but doesn't know how. Anything along those lines girl send it to him i'm just super excited and i want to stop rambling so let's go ahead and get right into this video tip number one is to know the basics of cheerleading cheer consists of five positions you got a top person that's always flying and whatnot your two bases they're going to be holding on to the feet your back person is going to be holding on to ankles and your front spot if there is a front spot necessary or needed you're going to be on the base's wrists making sure they stay together now that we got that out of the way that's the first thing you should know second thing you should know are general motions like your high V, your low V, your T, your diagonal, your L, your daggers, your half T, and your goalpost. Next, the difference between a prayer clap and a clasp. Please always clap with your elbows together. Your coaches or scouters, whoever is evaluating you, will love you for that. So you gotta know how to do your jumps. A toe touch, that's gonna be your middle jump. Your hurdler, that's gonna be your right jump or your left jump. Or, and then we also have a pike jump. That's the two legs together, you know. So, <laughs> God, maybe you're making me nervous. So tip number two is to go in with high energy and confidence, cause girl, that's what we want to see. We want to see confidence. We want to see energy. Something that like gives us that spirit aspect of a cheerleader. You don't have to have like full prep all the time. Turn it on at tryouts. Your energy's on and your confidence is through the roof. Tip number three, show them those facials and be sharp. We want to see this. We want to see sharp, don't move. We don't want to see sloppy motions that connect. We're not Lucy Gooses. So don't do that. Shimmy, something like, I don't know, do something. But make sure you do it with pizzazz, with energy, with that confidence. It kind of all ties down into one. Tip number four is going to be your voice projection. If you're trying out for a school team, you're more than likely going to have to chant or say cheers. And you have to be very loud. You can't be like, give me an H. No, we don't want Ariana Grande. We want Jennifer Hudson. Like, be loud. T-R-E. What does that spell? Trey. Go you're gonna stand out over everybody else. So make a statement with that voice. Say everything with your chest and your chin up. You got it, I believe in you. Tip number five is to always show any additional skill that you have that you feel like would be working in your favor. And make sure if you are going to show the skill that it's clean, don't show them something sloppy or they're gonna be like, um, girl, what was that? Show something that you know how to do, that you have clean. If you need a spot, get a spot, ask for it. I'm sure they will be more than happy to spot you. That way they can at least see the potential. She got a little thumb thumb. Okay, but give them that little sum sum. Give them that little sum sum. If you had like dance experience, show them a leap, show them a center jump, show them a tilt jump, show them turns, your aerial, your kip up, show them your front walk over, your back walk over, show them your back handspring if you're working on a back handspring. Uh, if you have a bow and arrow, a front stretch, a heel stretch, a scale, an arabesque, anything to showcase your skills show them and do everything with confidence like i said before if you follow those simple tips you'll be golden and you'll make the team comment down below when your tryouts are and if you're going to be trying out if you're going to be trying out with a friend let me know go ahead and send them this video if any of these tips help you in the future please let me know and if you'd like for me to film a cheer video that way you guys can practice like practice some cheers and how to how to cheer how to i'll do like a how to step by step tutorial like with motions and everything if you want a dance tryout video tutorial i'll be happy to give you that too if you also want me to do a tutorial over covering all of the jumps i will gladly do that and if you want me to go over position side base main base flyer back spot 
you want me to go over any of those positions for you guys before you end up trying out go ahead and comment that down below because girl I got you whatever you need I got you I'm here for that so that is why I'm here I gotta make sure you're ready we're making the team this year and that's that on that thank you so much for watching this video I love you guys so so much and I'll see you next time I wanna end me. Talk me real.